So today we do a comparison, or we do a look at the DE 3.6 kilowatt inverter and we compare it to the Growatt 5 kilowatt inverter. So this is a Growatt storage plus. This I believe is better than the last product they have. It comes with dual PPTs and um, well, in a second I'll tell you what I think. Hello YouTube, Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. So seated on four Wico 5.3 uh, kilowatt hour batteries are the day 3.6 kilowatt and the Growatt 5 kilowatt storage plus. So today I'm going to take you through why I chose this over this. Um, to be fair to Growatt, they've introduced a newer model slightly better form factor but I still prefer this one to that one in a second I explain to you why I made the decisions to pick this to pick this the DE over the Growart inverters so the Growart we purchased in 2018 we're looking for an alternative to the Axpert inverters or the MPP solar as they're called and if you look at this you would see some similarities to the Axpert the major advantage it offered was dual MPPTs, as you can see here, PV input one. So let me see if you see that. And PV input two. So we had um, two PV inputs, and we could run 3,500 watts about. Or was it 4,000 watts? I don't remember what that number was, but it was something reasonable. So we can run, um, it was still limited to the 145 volts. Um, on the DC side, 150 max, and each charge controller was 30 amps. So I think 30 amps times 50 is 1,500. Sorry, it was 1750, 1750, which was about 3,500 watts. So this maxed out at 3,500 watts on the PV side. Our AC inputs look at the blocks. They look quite exactly like the expert. You had three fans: uh, two for the inverter and one for the charge controller. Uh, you see the weak looking um, AC, sorry, the DC battery chargers. And you know what? It worked fine till we started having some little issues. They did some firmware updates that corrected them. But other than that, this was a glorified copy of the expert inverter. We didn't know any better. We were looking for something different. One thing I liked about it was that it was configured to work with lithium ion batteries. Uh, back when expert hadn't started doing lithium ion batteries, they did lithium ion batteries and the battery looked exactly like the inverter. Okay, same form factor, you plugged it in, it looked attractive, but our failure rate with them was it were a little on the high side. And I think um, when it was operating as a battery inverter, it maxed out at 3,500 watts. It didn't, it didn't output the full 5,000. And we could never determine what the surge was, but I guess that the surge was 10 kilowatts. That's guesswork. It worked fine for me because I was off-grid. Customers we installed that had grid connections had issues with them. They would uh, give you error messages. Some were corrected by firmware, but that was it. So we left this one with the fans, and we went to a different inverter. We went to the Schneider and the Victron. Um, they were expensive. We were looking for alternatives. Then we went to the Lux. We enjoyed the locks, but the locks had limitations. And then from the locks, we went to the DE. So this is the smallest DE we can sell. It's a 3,600 watts. And you output the full 3,600 watts. Um, on the PV side, um, oops, I'm not wearing my glasses, so I can't really read it. But I think this is limited to 3,500 watts in PV. I'll correct it in my next video if I'm wrong. And you have dual and PPTs. So let's let's take a look at the inside of this. You can see the wire, the, you can see the wires, very good quality connections, very good quality blocks. You have a gen input for your generator. You have a load. And then you have a grid. So the, the surge is 7.2 kilowatts. You have a dedicated off and on switch for the PV. We didn't have that with we didn't have that with our grow watts. And then you have a dedicated 
on and off button to turn the inverter on and off. It's IP65, so it means we could install it inside and outside. And let me tell you why it's critical for you to have IP65 um, equipment. Look at the fans here. You see the dirt on the fans? The, these fans fail because of dirt. Part of the maintenance we do is constantly having to clean this up. And then, of course, you have dirt on the components, dust on the components. That is not an issue here because this is sealed. You never have to worry about dust going. Even if you st install them indoors, you have serious dust issues. That is not an issue here. In Nigeria, dust is a big one. You can see our communication ports. Um, for different protocols, uh, we use this streak. If you want to parallel them, to parallel them. And then if you want to talk to your batteries, it's to talk to the batteries. Uh, we have a generator start function. The Grobat also has a generator start function. It's a dry contact, which we never use, but it does have it. And as you can see, you see your battery, your battery connections. A little more solid than the Grobat. Um, so far, this has been fantastic. We've not had any issues with it. Um, they both have um, online apps. This had the, is, yeah, they both have Wi-Fi. You can take a, a look online to see what they're doing. So as far as that goes, it's not going to be for me a determinant or a, a reason to buy or not buy. Um, this one, the battery charge ability, the battery configuration gave us a whole lot more flexibility than this did. They both max out at 60 volts. So that's it. the only disadvantage I see that they possess. But for the kind of batteries we're using, it's not an issue. So this is why I like um, the Deye over the Growart Inverter. If you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. If you're yet to subscribe, please click the subscribe button. If you have any questions, please post them in the comment section below. Once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. I'm actually wearing a mask, so that's why I sound as funny as I do. Thank you for watching.